We all like to think we're in control of our choices, but are we really? Today on Mind Stretch, we're diving into one of the deepest questions in philosophy, the nature of free will. Do we truly have the freedom to make our own decisions, or is everything predetermined by forces beyond our control? At its core, free will is the ability to make choices that are not determined by past events, fate, or external forces. It's the belief that we can decide our actions and that these decisions reflect our individual agency. Free will is closely tied to concepts of responsibility and morality. After all, if we're truly free to make our choices, we're also responsible for the consequences. The idea of free will has been central to philosophical debates for centuries, stretching back to thinkers like Aristotle, who argued that humans are rational beings capable of deliberate choice. And Aquinas, who believed free will was a divine gift that allows us to choose between good and evil. But here's the paradox: if every event has a cause, then are our choices really free? This leads us to determinism, the theory that everything in the universe, including human actions, is determined by previous events and natural laws. In a deterministic universe, every decision you make. What you eat for breakfast, whether you go to the gym, even whether you're watching this video right now, can be traced back to prior causes, like your genetics, upbringing, and environment. In other words, if we knew all the variables in play, we could predict your next move with complete accuracy. So, if determinism is true, does that mean free will is an illusion? Not necessarily. This brings us to the idea of compatibilism. Compatibilists believe that even in a deterministic universe, free will can exist. How? They argue that free will is not about whether you could have chosen differently, but whether you acted according to your desires, without external coercion. So, even if your desires and personality are shaped by prior causes, as long as you're acting on them freely, you have free will. Think of it this way. You might not have control over where your preferences come from, but you're still free to act on them. This is the version of free will most compatible with modern science. But things get even more complicated. Some neuroscientists believe that free will might be an illusion altogether. Studies have shown that brain activity related to decision making happens before we're consciously aware of making a choice. This suggests that our brains may decide for us, and we only feel like we made the decision. If this is true, it could mean that what we perceive as choice is just our brain justifying decisions it has already made on a subconscious level. We're merely passengers along for the ride, and our sense of control might just be an illusion created by our minds. But before we give up on free will, let's look at things from a different angle: quantum physics. In the quantum world, some events don't follow strict cause and effect patterns. Particles can behave unpredictably, leading some to argue that quantum uncertainty might create room for free will. However, critics of this idea point out that randomness isn't the same as freedom. If our choices are random, they're still not under our control. So, while quantum physics adds uncertainty to the mix, it doesn't necessarily solve the free will puzzle. Why does all this matter? Free will is at the heart of how we assign moral responsibility. If people don't have free will, can we hold them accountable for their actions? Should we punish someone if their actions were determined by factors beyond their control, like genetics or upbringing? This question has real-world implications, especially in criminal justice. Should we rethink how we view punishment and responsibility if free will doesn't truly exist? Or does the idea of free will, even if it's not fully accurate, help us maintain order and accountability in society? Finally, let's talk about existentialism, which offers a different perspective. Thinkers like Jean-Paul Sartre argued that we are condemned to be free. In other words, whether we like it or not, we must create meaning and make choices, even in an uncertain world. For existentialists. Free will isn't about whether the universe is deterministic. It's about taking responsibility for how you respond to your circumstances. For Sartre, 
Freedom is not about controlling every factor in life, but about owning the choices we do make. Whether the universe is determined or not, existentialists argue that we must live as if our choices matter because they define who we are. So, do we have free will? The answer depends on who you ask. Philosophers, scientists, and even physicists offer different perspectives. Some believe our choices are shaped entirely by prior causes, while others think we still have room for meaningful freedom. Ultimately, the debate about free will challenges us to think about what it means to be human. Are we the authors of our lives? Or are we following a script written by nature and nurture? What do you think? Are we truly in control? Or is free will just an illusion? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more thought-provoking content on Mind Stretch.